Moving into cybersecurity was easily one of the best decisions I ever made in my career. Not only have I learned a lot, I've thoroughly enjoyed every single day of work, even throughout those stressful times, and I've reached heights in my career I never thought were possible. But there is one thing that I really wish I knew before I got into this. Hi and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you don't miss any future video. Choosing a cybersecurity career has been the most rewarding decision in my professional life. I honestly feel like I've made a difference in helping companies secure their systems and preventing large scale attacks from taking place. Not only have I helped those customers, but I feel like I've helped my customers' customers in keeping their personal information safe. However, there is one key thing that I really wish I knew before getting into this, and it might sound obvious, but it's not to be dismissed. It is purely the amount of study required for this field. As a penetration tester, I have had to work on attaining several certificates over the past few years. And while I'm taking a short break now, there are a few more that I need to work on in the years to come. Studying for these certificates is by all means not a bad thing. It's great to learn so much more knowledge and to really enhance your computing skills further. And for me, it's been mind blowing how much I've learned. But all this has come at a significant cost in terms of time as well as financial. Spending the money on these certificates upfront does come with an element of financial risk. You'll need to be successful in completing the course to have a chance at earning this money back. The risk is reduced if you're already in the field, but larger if you're, already, if you're not. This shouldn't be a huge detriment or consideration for anybody who is truly motivated, but for somebody who's unsure and just wants to dip their toe in the field, then this could be a serious financial consideration. But more importantly, I wanna talk about the time that you have to invest into each certificate. While I didn't log my time for the first two certificates I did, I estimate that this took between 300 hours for the first one and 500 for the second. Then when I did my OSCP, I logged this close to 650 hours, including resources like Hackerbox. For me, as a young bachelor in his early 30s without any real commitments or family to look after, I didn't find this too difficult in the grand scheme of things. But going through the, those crunch periods really was exhausting and I did get burnt out on several occasions due to spending all my time working and studying, nothing else. No gym, no yoga, no games, just work and just study. I even had to take significant amounts of annual leave just to cram in all that study and time. But for those who have families or community commitments or long work hours, these certificates can be extremely hard to attain and it really requires such an amount of self-discipline and great time management skills to attain them. For these people, it's important that you set realistic goals and timeframes. Don't be too ambitious as you don't want to lose that motivation if you don't hit your goals. So the goal of this video is not to gatekeep, but to help you make informed decisions with first-hand experience from someone who has already gone through these motions. Don't be discouraged, instead, instead be inspired and creative on how you can overcome these logistical challenges you'll face when embarking on this journey. Anyway, just a short one for today and I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave it a like, not only does it help me out, but it helps people like you find content like this. Let me know in the comments below how you're going and the challenges that you face getting into cybersecurity. I'd really like to hear from you and share any additional advice where I can. Until then, keep studying hard and I'll catch you in the next one.